news you can absolutely use, news you can use, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys keep watching what's going on over here at Boss Talk 101. Thank you guys who already have been showing us so much love and gratitude. The people that see me in the streets, everybody want to stop, take pictures, hang out, all that good stuff, man. You guys definitely are, are, are hey, bosses. Bosses is spoken, man. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, man, this weekend, man, uh, definitely uh, this week, whole week uh, marching up to Memorial Day, guys. Um, I was like, man, I got to say something to the people, man. I could have talked about a lot of different things, a litany of things, but just, you know, want to tell everybody to be safe. Have a great, great, great uh, Memorial Day, uh, a.k.a. Um, barbecue Day, a.k.a. Um, day off of work. Um, just want to tell you guys, man, to enjoy it, you know. Um, a lot of people are not here to enjoy the day. Some of the fallen soldiers, uh, uh, you know, typically, you know, people don't really acknowledge the true meaning of Memorial Day a lot of times. You know, there, this used to be a thing where you would go out and you would go out and, you know, clean off graves. You would go out and, you know, remember the fallen soldiers. Uh, there were so many different things that that this day represented. So, you know, um, some say in Charleston, South Carolina, this was the first time that people acknowledged Memorial Day. Um, is that true? We don't know. History foretells that, you know, there was a, a, a group of African Americans that first acknowledged uh, a Memorial Day. Uh, I believe it's like 1865 is what they're saying. Uh, that's what history records. And then, you know, uh, also talks about the Civil War being something that ushered Memorial Day in. You guys got to understand, man, that this is a day that I feel like, you know, um, you know, it's just a special day outside of the barbecue and then outside of, of uh, the day off of work. Or for a lot of people, this is a day of celebration for themselves. But there's a lot of people that died to put us in positions that we're in in order for us to even be able to celebrate and have a great day and have a good time and be free in this country. Um, a lot of things happen to transpire that. Even the growth and prosperity of this comp country comes from, you know, on the back of a lot of slaves, you know. Um, and, and also, it comes also just on a team effort between slaves and the owners of slaves. This is something that's very difficult to articulate, very difficult to you know understand the algorithm of how it all happened. But it is our history, no matter how you look at it. Uh, you know, it, I look at uh, in 1868, uh, John Logan um, was a, a you know and, uh, he was the one that they pretty much uh, gave credit to. Said that it was a centered around. Uh, that celebration and that time. So when you look at, you know, all the things that history foretells, a lot of times we go down that road, that rabbit hole, and it's just not a pretty picture for, for people that look like us. But we have to embrace our culture. We have to embrace our history as well so that our children and our children's children will understand the marks we made while we were here on, on, on earth. So it's very important to keep that history on the forefront and let all of the people understand what went on from our perspective during that time. So when you look at just uh, all the things that happened, um, all the fallen soldiers, all the things that happened that, that, that drove us to be the people we are today in this country, uh, Memorial Day is a very, very, very prominent uh, ser serious day. Um, people who really, really understand history, they study this to understand how we ended up at this location at this time and why people celebrate Memorial Day. Memorial Day, uh, like I said again, it's not just about barbecue and even though that's what I used to do, when I get, hey, when I get off work and go and get me a, a cold beer and some, some ribs and invite a few people over and we play dominoes and that's how we would do it um, for Memorial Day. But being there now, having a brand and having to express the, the times and having to express things that can educate our people, I have to take a serious approach on saying, hey, this is also a representation of 
Memorial Day, uh, the history, the fallen soldiers, the flowers on the graves, uh, visiting uh, graves and doing the things we can to represent the fact of what happened to get us to be able to be in the situation we are, whether it be freedom, whether it be whatever the case may be for you, whether it be uh, white privilege, no matter what it is for you, um, it is a day that ancestors drove us to this point. So I got to say, man, don't ever forget your place in history and always try to paint the picture to the truth so that your children's children will be able to see, hey, man, this is what Memorial Day meant to us. Um, like I said, it, it became a national holiday uh, around 1868. Uh, uh, well, you know, well, 1889, when Memorial, where, you know, 1889, it became a national holiday. Memorial, you know, it was a, a day while, you know, they kind of forgot the black 1965 incident that I was telling you about earlier. And the trip is, you know, that's a lot of times, and the African Americans started that one in 1965. Well, then you get John Logan, who's a general, he comes back uh, and. Uh, he starts one, and that's more of, it, of an acknowledged uh, time. So, just like Juneteenth, it's, it's just this thing where where we all here trying to figure it out. And whoever is the prominent person in position during that time, that's the person that people will really be able to understand. You know, was it? Uh, hey, that was the one who started it because they're the person in position. It's almost like on the internet, whoever has the loudest voice is able to get across the message in a way that it seems as if they've made the approach and seem if they did better than the other individual when that may not be the case but because of them in the position they're in and because of them having the loudest voice a lot of times the other voices are unheard so kudos to all those black people uh, that that had a voice but tried and and wasn't acknowledged in it uh, like saying the 1965 portion of this so I gotta say that I can't leave them out um, it became a thing where I think I said it was a racetrack were in 1968 and they uh, 19 uh you know 1989 I'm sorry where they um where they tried to figure out a way to you know basically celebrate the death and uh the, the, the all of the different things that happened to the fallen soldiers during that time so like I said man these are some times where today we have all type of information that's at the fingertips, at our fingertips. And so we have to try to impute things that represent our people, represent um, acknowledging all the things that happened during these times. And I know a lot of people are hurt. A lot of people hate our history because of the fact that they don't believe a lot of the history and they, a lot of anger and unforgiveness uh, is, is there. And instead of them trying to help others understand the history, they this didn't happen, but they don't give you any ultimatum of what they feel happened. We know already that uh, we were over oppressed by racism a lot of time and uh, we was sadly coming out of uh, uh, slavery trying to anyway. We already understand that but how do we get past and how do we bridge the gap for our people? That's what we ought to be trying to figure out. How do we make a difference? How do we make uh, uh, our voice heard in a way to where it magnifies the way that our people are being seen and that we can be proud of our uh, history and, and, and us coming up our from under bondage and all of the things that happen. So, uh, and also, how can we get along with our fellow man, whether he's white, black, green, yellow, or brown? How do we get along with those people? And how do we make this world a place where our children can can walk and talk together, and there not be a a, a thing where racism uh, uh, pretty much centerizes the situation in a way that it explodes in their face, and they're not able to walk together and even get along. So, let's figure out ways to bridge these gaps. Let's figure out a way to help our people uh, to understand the history and like I said I hope you guys enjoy your barbecue today um, enjoy your uh, beer today enjoy your liquor enjoy everything that you're doing and, but also enjoy the fact that people died in order for us to be in the place we are today man thank you guys for watching Boss Talk 101 again I'm going to say like and subscribe to our channel also um, I, go and get a membership YouTube membership Patreon membership like I said a lot of times you don't see our information you have to share it reshare it um, we're not going to slow down we're not going to stop so um, well, everybody's riding with us we know already you you riding with us and we see you and we thank you and we just going to keep pushing man so hey man I tried to yeah oh the
the Black Bear, I gotta say this, the Black Panther was also had a deal where later on it became a thing where they also, in 1971, uh, if you start, go back and research, you'll see um, that they also had uh, different memorial ways that they uh, were in imputed into the history. Uh, lost a lot of fallen soldiers in not only the Black Panther Party, but the black race period in the 70s as well. And, and all other races too, but I'm just saying that's where I, I, I stem from. So, And also, don't forget, Memorial Day marks the opening of summer. Let's get to it. It's going to be a lot of shorts, bikinis. There's going to be a lot of getting out on the lake, getting ready for the holidays, a lot of traveling. Guys, be safe and acknowledge the fact that God is real and put him first, man. And, hey, I wish you guys the best, man. Hey, now I think that's about it, man. News you can do.